culture. We shall learn about major crops grown all over the world and agricultural development. Major crops Food demand of growing population can be met by growing a large variety of crops all over the world. Crops are classified into food crops, fiber crops, and beverage crops. Major food crops of the world are wheat, rice, maize, and millets. Jute and cotton are fiber crops. Important beverage crops are tea and coffee. Rice is one of the major food crops of the world. This curry crop needs high temperatures of about 25 degrees Celsius, high humidity and an annual rainfall of about 100 cm. China is the leading country in production of rice. China leads in the production of rice followed by India, Japan, Sri Lanka and Egypt. Wheat requires temperature below 25 degrees Celsius and about 50 to 75 centimeter rainfall and loamy type of soil. Millets can be grown on less fertile and sandy soil. They have high nutritional value. Jowar, Bajra and Ragi are millets commonly grown in India. Ragi is rich in iron, calcium, other micronutrients and roughage. The countries where millets are grown are Nigeria, China and Niger. Maize is both a food crop and fodder crop. It requires moderate temperature, 21 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius, moderate rainfall, 75 centimeter, and lots of sunshine for growth. USA, Brazil, China, Russia, Canada, and Mexico are the countries where maize grown abundantly. Cotton requires high temperature, light rainfall, 210 frost-free days a year, and bright sunshine for its growth. China, USA, India, Pakistan, Brazil, and Egypt are the leading producers of cotton. Jute is also known as the golden fiber. It grows well on well-drained, fertile alluvial soil. It requires high temperature during the growing season, heavy rainfall and the humid climate. The leading producers of jute are India and Bangladesh. Coffee, a beverage crop, requires a warm and wet climate and well-drained loamy soil. Brazil is the leading producer of this crop, followed by Colombia and India. Tea, one of the main beverage crops, is also a plantation crop. It also needs well-drained loamy soils and gentle slopes that can be terraced for cultivation. It is a labor-intensive crop and requires a large number of skilled labor to plug the leaves. Agriculture in India Almost 75% of India's population is dependent on agriculture. The size of an average land holding in India is 2.3 hectares. 
the small size of holdings in India is a result of fragmentation and subdivision of farms. This is the reason that bulk of farmers in India live below the poverty line. The government of India has taken some initiative for improving the farmer's condition by providing good quality of seeds, pesticides and fertilizers. District officers train the farmers in newer and better method of cultivation. Farmers are given loans from nationalized banks at low rate of interest. Green Revolution 1960s are the culmination of the Indian government. Let us find out the difference between agriculture in developing and developed country. In India, many farmers continue to follow primitive methods of agriculture. As a result, they barely manage to feed themselves and many are unable to return the loans they have taken from the banks. In USA, farmers uses highly advanced technology. Everything is mechanized, even the taking of animal dung of the field. They orders fertilizers, seeds and spare parts for his machines on the net. He also uses the internet to check the prices of food grains being quoted in the market. Summary Agriculture is one of the oldest occupations of humans. Agriculture yield depends on the climate, soil, irrigation, size of land and the techniques used. Rice, wheat, maize and millets are the important food grains in the world. Cotton, coffee, tea and jute are some cash crops. That is all in this lesson. Keep learning!